One of the exciting things about the architecture is that it, uh, it gives you so many reasons to be modest. Uh, because there are so many levels on which you can fail. When you're writing you're alone. And uh, as you can see here, uh, in architecture you're never alone. That is a kind of fantastic difference and that's why it is also interesting to use one against the other. Uh, because at, at some point it could really become very easy to forget who you are. Because you're always working in kind of collective environments. Mm -hmm. Which is actually very good because you, you can, in the best cases, generate a kind of collective uh, uh, intelligence. It, it means that you don't always know where you begin and where you start. I think what we have now is really a unique situation that the inside is completely manipulated but the outside is also completely manipulated not for different purposes uh, but for the same purpose. The indeterminacy of the outside is all being eroded and being replaced by endless specificity, by chains of specificity where kind of really the, the, the choice and the kind of randomness uh, that, because I agree with you that that is the virtue of the outside, that you, there's a less suffocating kind of logic uh, operating, but now it has become equally suffocating.